Let's also bring on board Sandeep Sabarwal, who's joining in on fundamentals. We also have Rajesh Palvia on the technicals. And Sandeep, let's get in your take first up on the moves that we're seeing in PSUs. And a pro pretty prominent fact was that in the month of Rajesh, let's get in a view from you on the charts when it comes to pharma, because that was one of the standout performers sectorally last week. Um, how are you tracking some of the heavyweights and the movers within pharma? Uh, good morning. Yeah, so most of the pharma stocks have shown good buying interest in the last couple of days. The stocks like Sun Pharma, Lupin, uh, Dr. Reddy, Alcam Lab. So these all stocks are looking very bullish. And the way uh, most of the pharma stocks are holding uh, ground at higher level, we believe that, you know, here uh, there would be a continuity of uptrend. And uh, we may see further more, you know, upside uh, in uh, most of the pharma stocks. So from uh, that space, uh, uh, at this juncture, we like uh, Sun Pharma. Uh, we believe that you know the way Sun Pharma uh, managed to view breakout uh, uh, of its uh, previous consolidation. We believe that you know here we could see a upside momentum towards 1800 to 1830 on a positional perspective. So what one can look to buy this stock in any kind of minor decline in volatile market. Uh, uh, one can keep his stop loss around 16.30. Arvindo Pharma is also looking very promising. The way uh, stock has witnessed a buying action in last couple of uh, weeks. Uh, here is also, you know, a possibility that, you know, this stock may also, uh, you know, continue furthermore upside 1500 to 1530 would be the next target on the high side. So buy on dips is the strategy in Arvindo Pharma also. Uh, keep your stop losses around 1380 to, you know, continue hold on the long position for Arvindo Pharma. So I think most of the pharma stocks are showing good traction in terms of buying. So here one can look to buy some of the opportunity on the buying side uh, in volatile markets. We just wanted to put the spotlight on the latest commentary coming in from the Aurobindo Pharma management as well, given we are talking about that stock. The management is confident of maintaining the, guard, the margins between 21 and 5,000. A similar kind of pattern is visible in BEL. 10-15% correction has kicked in. So do you think PSU stocks have corrected and do they warrant uh, a re-entry or they have topped out for multi-months now? So, Nikunj, uh, if we analyze the long-term structure, still the structure is on the bullish side, though there is some corrective move in uh, most of this defensive uh, defense stock. Uh, but still, if we analyze on the long-term structure, they are holding uh, uh, above their, you know, breakout levels on the long-term chart. So, yes, uh, there is a possibility that, you know, we could again, you know, attract the buying interest in this decline. So, those who wants to buy for, you know, investment perspective, yes, uh, it's, opportun it's an opportunity to, you know, buy and accumulate these stocks. So, I think from that space, uh, BL is looking very promising. Uh, still, uh, stock is, you know, almost negotiating with its uh, uh, immediate uh, support area on the near term as well as on the short term chart. So, I think uh, uh, one can deploy some long trade in uh, BL uh, with stop loss of 285 and on, uh, once stock again, you know, crosses about 315. So I think it will again, you know, resume its uptrend and possible target uh, on a positional basis. We could we could see towards 340 to 350 on the higher side. Again, Bharat Dynamics is also looking promising. Uh, uh, since last two three months, we are seeing that you know stock is consolidating in a broader range. The way stock is uh, holding about 1300, 1350 mark, I think uh, there is again you know opportunity in BDL also. Uh, here also one can you know buy and accumulate uh, this stock. On the higher side, 1480 is the uh, immediate uh, supply zone. If it crosses those levels, then uh, it may also, you know, scale up to the again, you know, uh, its uh, all-time high trajectory uh, in a positional perspective. So BDL is also one can look to buy uh, in this decline uh, with stop loss of 1340. On the higher side, uh, we can see a target towards 1750 to 1800 also. HL is now slight below to 50-day moving average. So I think. Uh, 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 one should wait for HL to you know settle down because still uh, supply pressure is not absorbed uh, in the stock. Uh, we will wait uh, 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 for some couple of days. 4600 is the immediate support area on the downside. If it's able to defend for next couple of weeks for this 4600, I think again uh, here would be again an opportunity to buy HL. But I think one should wait for some time. Uh, 4600 needs to be watched closely in next couple of uh, weeks. Okay, point taken. Hold that thought. We also have Somit back with us to talk to us about what the MSCI rejig will entail for the market. Somit, which are blue star or Volta for that matter? 
So Volta, Sagwans, all these stocks are, you know, attracting some profit taking in last couple of uh, week. And uh, looking at the near term, short term structure for Volta, the stock uh, has uh, uh, shown a, uh, you know, breakdown uh, below to its upwards uh, sloping trend, uh, trend line on the weekly chart. So looking at the structure, the stock is now slipped below to 50 day moving average. Some more pressure we could see in Volta's uh, uh, on the downside, uh, 1400 to 1380 is the next important support area for this corrective move. Though short to medium term structure is bullish for the stock, so I think in decline towards 1380, 1390 uh, is a, you know again attractive level to re-enter in this stock as overall structure is bullish and I think uh, uh, there would be again support buying action uh, around those levels. So I think if you want to buy Voltas, wait for you know another two three percent kind of correction. Uh, then you can deploy some long trade with stop loss of thirteen uh, fifty. Uh, even uh, in this space, I think Symphony is looking very promising. The way stock managed to give breakout on the daily weekly chart uh, time frame, I think uh, here is a possibility that you know Symphony may exhibit good amount of rally on the higher side uh, after a long consolidation. Stock managed to give breakout with the volume action. So I think if its stocks continues to hold above 1630, 1620 mark, uh, there is a possibility that you know Symphony can you know continue upward momentum towards 1750 to 1800. So here one can deploy some long trade with stop loss of 1620. All right, uh, let's find out those mid cap strategies and what exactly the pre open rates are indicating. For now, it's a bit of a soft start. Down a third of a percent, holding on to 24,270 levels. So first one is from uh, pharma sector, that is Alcam Lab. Stock is continuously moving in uptrend. Uh, stock is almost trading near to its all-time high trajectory. The way stock is holding the ground at higher level, we believe that you know here would uh, there would be a uh, you know another round of rally we can see. Uh, we are projecting target towards 6,000 level for the Alcam Lab. Uh, one can buy this stock with stop loss of 57, uh, 50, uh, 57.85. Uh, the another stock is Excel Industry. Uh, series of high top, higher bottom formation. This is the fourth, fifth consecutive month where the stock is making higher high low formation. Sustained buying action is taking place in this stock. We are projecting target towards 15.20 for uh, Excel industry. One can deploy some long trade in this stock with stop loss of 14.20. Point taken. So those are some top recommendations coming in from our charters this morning. But time to run you through through the two stop stories that have been tracking across the globe with just three months to go for the U.S. president.